you're looking for a fun, easy, and interesting self-guided project, we've got just the thing for you. Our series of activities and supporting videos walks your student through the process of creating a totally self-sustaining ecosystem at home. This is your Brainy Briny Beaker Bag. Inside contains everything for the whole operation. A tube of algae, a secchi stick, instructions, some salts and cysts, as well as the bag itself. Whoa. Here at the Foss Water Racing Port, we are so excited to be doing this project with every fifth grader in the Tacoma Public Schools. What's so cool about this project is that it's a self-sustaining ecosystem that can last for a year without even being fed. To tell you more about it, let me introduce you to two awesome scientists. Hi, my name is Matt Huber and I own a small company in San Diego, California called Algae Research and Supply. We're here because we really firmly believe that you guys and everybody out there needs to learn about growing algae. It's responsible for half of the Earth's photosynthesis. And so I've dedicated my lab and my life to really getting this out there so that everybody can, can uh, get their hands on some algae. The students get to see step-by-step -step processes detailing how to do the experiment at home. But yeah, they're growing and on the bottom you can really see that they're also growing. What's really cool about this is it's a completely enclosed ecosystem. So the algae feeds the brine shrimp and when the brine shrimp poop and die, they get recycled by the bacteria and fungus, which in turn remineralizes the nutrients and feeds the algae. This is such a great thing that this cycle will keep going around and around and around forever and you could become a, a brine shrimp grandparent. Hey, and speaking of brine shrimp, here's Jamie to tell you a little bit more. You're a brine shrimp biologist and so I'm really, really, really excited to send to these brine shrimp and to see them hatching all the way in Washington. It's really interesting because I get to see them grow and I get to see the algae grow in a bag. We've curated a collection of some of the most frequently asked and best questions the students had so that your students can follow along. Hi, I'm Ariah Kendrick and I am here to talk about my brine shrimp. So, um, I have a question about the brine shrimp. Is, um, I, my, my name is Bridget and so I was wondering, should we be shaking the bag every single day? Some of them I shake every day, some of them I don't. And you'll notice that the ones I don't have a lot of algae on the bottom. How big can a brine shrimp get? The brine shrimp eat each other. So you can see they're about half an inch long. Um, that's about as big as they get. They, they do get bigger. You know, their size depends on how healthy they are. Uh, brine shrimp, they produce a whole bunch of babies, hundreds of them, in the hopes that maybe just one or two to replace the parent. This is your opportunity to get in on a fun, self-guided, easy experiment that enriches lives. I'm so honored to be part of your experience and learning while you're in fifth grade out there. And if you guys understand how to use algae to remove CO2 from the atmosphere, you will be the ones to change the planet. And so I hope that some of you are gonna be really excited about growing these um, brine shrimp and, and seeing how they change in their little brainy briny bag and hope that it maybe inspires some of you to be an algae scientist or a brine shrimp scientist. And, and I really look forward to seeing how you save the world. So bye.